Welcome to the Pharmacist Voice Podcast, Episode 219. I'm the host, Kim Newlove. We're talking about the pronunciation of semaglutide today. What is semaglutide? Semaglutide is an injectable prescription medication making headlines here in 2023. It's used for type 2 diabetes and weight loss. To learn more about using semaglutide for type 2 diabetes, visit ozempic.com. Ozempic.com. To learn more about its use for weight loss, visit wegovi.com. Wegovi.com. Links to both of those websites are in the show notes on the pharmacistvoice.com. Just click on the podcast tab and search for episode 219. If you're new to my drug name pronunciation series, welcome! How do these pronunciation episodes work, you might be asking? First, I break the drug names down into syllables. Then I explain which syllable or syllables have the emphasis, reveal the source of the information, and then I put the written pronunciations in the show notes on the pharmacistvoice.com so you can see them and use them right away. The purpose of these episodes is to provide the intended pronunciations of drug names from reliable sources so that you feel more confident saying them and less frustrated learning them. I hope this episode helps. Let's dive in. Semaglutide has four syllables. Sem, like a semi-truck. Uh, which is the short A sound. It sounds like uh, like the schwa A sound that you hear in the word adoption. Uh. Glue, like the sticky substance that we use to stick two things together. Glue. And tide, as in the ocean tide. Put that all together and you get semaglutide. Sem and glue get the emphasis. You emphasize glue more than any other syllable. See if you can hear the syllables and the emphasis when I say it slowly. Semaglutide. Semaglutide. You're probably wondering, how did I know how to say semaglutide, right? I read the written pronunciation of semaglutide from the USP Dictionary online. That is my reference. The USP Dictionary Online, if you don't know, is a subscription-based online reference for generic or non-proprietary drug names. Semaglutide, of course, is a generic or non-proprietary drug name. If you're not familiar with the USP Dictionary Online, what they do is they divide up the drug names into syllables and they tell you which syllable or syllables is emphasized. So that's why I know that sem and glue are emphasized, and glue is emphasized the most. They even have a pronunciation guide, so I know that the A, that's the fourth letter, is a short A, and it's not an A-Y-A, like a long A. So it's an uh instead of an A. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> If you divide up the syllables wrong and you put the emphasis on the wrong syllable, you get semaglutide. That is not how it appears in the USP dictionary. So the correct pronunciation is semaglutide. Get the emphasis on the right syllable. Got it? All right. Now, as a bonus, let's touch on the pronunciations of Ozempic and Wegovy. Both of these are brand name drugs, brands for semaglutide. Again, Ozempic is used for type 2 diabetes and Wegovy is used for weight loss. Ozempic has three syllables. O, like the letter in the alphabet, O, Zem, which rhymes with gem, Zem, and Pick, like you pick a summer vacation destination. And yes, I am thinking about my summer vacation because I need to pick my destination soon. We're supposed to go on vacation in August, and we actually have not picked a destination yet. All right, again, that last syllable in Ozempic is pick. All right, put that all together, and you get Ozempic. Which syllable gets the emphasis? It is Zem. See if you can hear the syllables and the emphasis when I say it slowly. Ozempic. Ozempic. Wegovy also has three syllables. We, like the pronoun we, meaning together my husband and I make a we. We have been a couple for 30 years. The second syllable is go, like the verb go, and the last syllable is v, like the letter v in the alphabet, v. 
Put it all together and you get we go V. Which syllable gets the emphasis? It's go. See if you can hear the syllables and the emphasis when I say it slowly. We go V. We go V. Now, how did I know how to say Ozempic and Wegovy? The written pronunciations are in the medication guides for each drug. The written pronunciations are in the medication guides. And then both of their websites have videos with the verbal pronunciations. Direct-to-consumer advertising can sometimes be your friend if you need to hear the pronunciations. It's always good to have both the written and the verbal pronunciation so you can be sure that you know you're saying it correctly. How did I find the medication guides for both drugs, you're probably wondering? There are links on each drug's website at the very top of the website. So once you go to the website, look for the link for medication guide. Once you go to the medication guide, go to section 17, which is the patient counseling information, and there you will find the medication guide and the written pronunciation for each drug, Ozempic and Wegovy. Now, if you find this episode years later and those drug websites have changed and maybe the medication guide information is no longer at the top, not a problem. You can also find the medication guides for Ozempic and Wegovy on the FDA's website. They actually have a section for medication guides. Just go there and you will find the exact same thing that is on Ozempic and Wegovy's websites. Same information, two different ways to find it. Thanks for joining me today to learn how to say semaglutide, Ozempic, and Wegovy. To find the show notes for this episode, go to thepharmacistsvoice.com, click on the podcast tab, and search for episode 219. In the show notes, you'll find the written pronunciations for all three drug names, a link to the USP Dictionary online, my social media links, and more. If you know someone who would like to learn how to say semaglutide, Ozempic, or Wegovy, please share this episode with them. And if you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. Join me on Monday, June 5th, so just in a few days, for the introduction to my Pharmacist Authors series, which will run throughout June and July 2023. Thanks for listening today. I'll talk to you soon.